Hey then everyone, Juan Romero here from Games Expanse along with James and we're here with another video. This time we're looking at some of the best co-op games that you can play locally with friends, some online too, on the PS5 as well as the PS4. I play the console a lot with my daughter so there are some great games here for younger audience as well as you adults out there. So let's check out some of these games and get into it. I'm going to start off with an absolutely fantastic game that took me by complete surprise. You can play up to four people and every Everyone in the family can enjoy this. It's of course Sackboy A Big Adventure. I really enjoyed this game on the PlayStation 5. It's utterly gorgeous in terms of its visual aesthetics, but also brilliant fun if you're into platformers. Each level can be run through quickly, or you can look at finding all of the secrets for those of you that are completionists. For those who love competitive fun, there are even levels to run through as quickly as possible, leaving your times on the leaderboards, which is also brilliant. What my daughter loved though was the hundreds of cosmetic items and costumes that you can kit sack boy or sack girl with, making your own characters look truly unique. The icing on the cake is the brilliant array of musical tracks from some top musical talent, making this one of my favorite co-op games on the PlayStation 5 thus far. Thanks Juan, how's it going everyone? It's James here. Now first up for me is Haven. This is a third person role playing game with survival game elements. The game is about two lovers, you and Kay, who escape to an uninhabited lost planet called Source. You can control either character or play in co-op multiplayer and that is certainly my recommendation. That's the way to most enjoy this game. And this one looks absolutely beautiful. It's a gorgeous looking game and this is one where you will complete tasks to Together or engage in combat and it's just a great blast. If you live with a significant other or you're lucky enough or, or maybe you've got a good friend that you're looking for more with but don't have the ball to tell them then this is a nice way of giving them that hint. Either way I thought it was a worthwhile experience playing with my partner even though she's not that keen on gaming it was still rather enjoyable. A Way Out is the perfect game for this list. It's a co-op game where you and a buddy play as Leo and Vincent, two prisoners as they make a daring escape. They forge an unlikely bond based around their mutual desire for freedom. And what ensues is like a slick 1970s prison break film. The game is developed by Joseph Fares, who brought us Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, and before developing games directed movies, and it definitely shows here. The new game It Takes Two will also feature on this list, so stay tuned. The cinematography here is superb, but this is by no means a walking simulator. Gameplay is also at the core of this experience, and it mixes things up really nicely. It Takes Two is from the same dev that brought us a way out and again features an escape, only this time the escape is not from a prison, but an escape from reality. Yes, this one is an escape from the real world into a fantastical world. It is a game that you cannot help but enjoy, such is its fun nature. Here, there's a couple in real life that are going through a bit of a bad patch in their relationship. They are turned into dolls and the adventure is all about them getting back into their real bodies. This is an action platformer where you have to cooperate in order to come out on top by taking on enemies with character connected abilities which unlock after each level. This game was built specifically for two either locally or online and the beauty is you can buy the game and invite a friend without them even having to own it which is a feature called Friend Pass, which we think is a consumer-friendly decision, allowing more people to enjoy this wonderful game together. And this is one that everyone should try. Outriders is one of the newer games, a looter shooter. You can play up to three people online, and once it gets going, it's rather good. While not perfect, we're sure it will get better over time. We think this game is fantastic with friends, and having the options of different classes and builds means that you can choose a character for your playstyle. The visuals look great too, so if you love your shooters, this is certainly one you've got to give it a chance to. There's also a demo, so check that out and see if it's for you. The original Overcooked caught me by surprise with its super addictive real-time management gameplay where you need to divide kitchen tasks in order to serve up tasty treats to your clients. I played this with my girlfriend thoroughly and the sequel even more. Now, the games have been given a new lease of life for the next generation consoles, and if you never played either game, then you are in for a delightful morsel, as both have been served up in 4K glory at 60 frames per second, with every DLC release thrown in. 
faster loading times, new chefs, new levels and trophies and achievements to reach towards as well. It's simple at first, but it gets complex very quickly, leading to some genuinely tense and hilarious moments. You can play it locally with up to four players as well as online, and it's definitely at its best when playing with a friend. I had a fantastic time with Unravel 2 with my daughter, a charming side-scrolling puzzle platformer game where you control two Yarnies, little characters made of thread through a series of adventures. In the story, these characters are made from positive energy and are trying to assist two children on the run. The gameplay is clever as you need to use both Yarnies together to progress, making this an excellent game for kids to work together and collaborate and of course adults too. The positive story and puzzle solving nature of the game set in a cute and wondrous world and makes this an excellent choice for the whole family and whilst you can play this solo it's certainly better together as you need to support each other and coordinate in order to progress as well as using that nifty slowdown mechanic. This game is well priced as well as being available to play right now. All of these years later the simple and satisfying beat em up arcade action still works to this day. Axel and Blaze are back and by their own admission are probably too old for this shizzle. That's where the young crew members Cherry Hunter, daughter of Adam Hunter and Floyd Iriela step in. Each of the characters has their own set of moves complete with a star move that tears through goons and a special move that takes a chunk out of your own health. The action is frantic and manages to balance bashing those buttons with chaining together calculated combos really well. When you unleash a special move, you can recover the lost health if you follow it up with a well-executed combo or catch strobe weapons, for example. The story is cheesy and thin, but who cares? We are here to bash through the enemies in front of us to the backdrop of banging tunes, and they really are superb, as well as glorious visuals in a brilliant style. The level designs are solid and include some variation with a moving train, for example, and all in all, this is a trip down memory lane that feels great and new at the same time. The whole game can be enjoyed with a friend online or locally with up to four and the game feels well balanced when doing so. It's most certainly meant to be enjoyed together. You share a combo meter meaning you can unleash those epic skills more frequently but can also be interrupted more easily. Grab a friend, some snacks and get busting. Now over the last few years Destiny 2 has been improved steadily, improving and adding to the shooter. You know, it looks great on the PS5, what can I say? It looks fantastic, runs absolutely smoothly. You can hook up with mates as a group of three for the campaign missions and groups of six in raids. It looks gorgeous in 4K, a great blast to play together. And of course, like most MMOs right now, free to play with optional in-game purchases. So you can try it at no cost. Following up the popular Until Dawn, Supermassive Games have taken a darker, more sinister tone this time around with Man of Medan. This is one of the Dark Pictures Anthology. This is a playable survival horror flick that is a really slow burner, ratcheting up the scares and creepiness on you as time goes on. It's playable solo, but where it shines is in one of the two cop choices you have, but more on that in a second. The game unfolds as a cast of five divers are stranded on a World War II freighter. You switch between these characters and depending on your decisions and approach, each can die or survive with multiple strands and lots of different endings to experience. Coming back to the cop choices, the first is movie night mode, which is superb if you have a bunch of mates over. You each take a different character in pass and play, making your decisions that impact the rest of the cast, which leads to some hilariously selfish choices, sacrificing one of your buddies so you can get out or working together for the greater good. What's great is that you can either play the whole thing together or dip out and just see the portion of the story that you are playing depending on what you and your mates fancy. The other is Shared Story, an online co-op experience for two where you play the whole story together and live with the consequences you both make. If you fancy a twist on watching a film, something a bit more interactive, then get your friends around, grab the popcorn and enjoy. FIFA 21, although it is a game you would most of the time play against your frenemy, you can play together in co-op. Collaborating with a friend has never been so good. There's a wealth of options too. There is team events, themed objectives where you can pick up rewards, community events, but best of all is playing ultimate team with a friend either locally or online. With so many options, if you are into football and you're a fan, this is the ultimate co-op experience. Okay, now who doesn't want to take on hordes of zombies in split screen with a friend? Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War allows just that and whilst it's only this mode that allows split screen play locally, it is still really worthwhile. 
If you want to go online and play with friends in the main game, you can of course do that too. So yet another game on this list that can be played locally, which is fantastic. We absolutely love Borderlands 3 because you can play with a buddy locally in split screen. If you love your shooters with loads of depth, then this is for you. Even if you have played this before, it's great fun with a friend and with the improved visuals on PS5, make it as smooth to play and even more detailed right now. We can't get enough of this one. We certainly recommend it if you haven't tried it yet. Dirt 5 is a quality racer on the PS5 and can actually be enjoyed with up to three racers who could join up and take on the career mode together with you, which we personally think is really awesome and a bit different, not many games allow that. As well as all of the online options this has, there's something about recording times against each other when the person is in the same room that just brings about a certain level of camaraderie and banter. We cannot get enough of this one to be honest, a great game to consider if you're a fan of arcade racing games. Thanks very much, James. We hope you enjoyed this list of co-op games that you can play on the PS5. We've done the same for the Xbox Series X and S, so check out that video by clicking the top right-hand banner. If you're new to Games Expanse, we'd really love it if you subscribe so you don't miss another video. Make sure you hit that bell notification so we can alert you when our next video goes live. Take care, everybody. Leave us a comment down below letting us know what your favorite co-op game experience is thus far. We'd love to hear from you. We'll see you on the next one.